We got subtitles down here of what I'm saying. There's plenty of dirty items in your bathroom, and one of them could be your toothbrush. Let's get that toothbrush sanitized. One of my favorite ways to start my day with a clean car here at the car wash before I get my life cleaned up. Well, bathroom stuff cleaned up. Oh, this is the best feeling. Clean car, look how shiny everything is. Looks brand new. She looked new. In between your replacements, these are breeding grounds for bacteria. Luckily, there are three easy go-to methods. So many toothbrushes. But maybe I'll just pick up this plain set of toothbrushes. All the peroxide. I mean, should I get two? Why not? Now, I do not need the double pack of antiseptic mouthwash. This mouthwash, not for her mouth, but for cleaning. I'm never without vinegar at home, so I don't need to stock up. I have plenty. You'll need about a cup of water and a capful or a splash of hydrogen peroxide. Swish and let this soak for about 15 minutes. You can also use denture tablets. Bloop, big splash. Let that fizz up and soak your toothbrush for five to 10 minutes. And for a quick clean, antiseptic mouthwash. This only takes about a minute. Works perfect for those electronic brush heads. This is my first whitening. So I can't drink coffee for 24 hours yeah. after getting this done. Yeah. So two o'clock tomorrow, two o'clock tomorrow, I can have coffee. Well, after two o'clock. After two o'clock. So like three o'clock tomorrow. Yeah. On second thought, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I can't have coffee, so. Try to do one of these sanitizing methods at least once a week and replace your toothbrushes completely about every three to four months. And it's especially important to clean that toothbrush after any time when you're sick. Nice. Okay, yeah. all right, I'll have to take a nap. We're gonna be here for 20 minutes. I feel the stain just After it's all nice and clean, let that toothbrush just air dry. Tiny toothpaste. Clean toothbrush, clean teeth. Oh wow. I think a couple. Yeah. Good thing you didn't do this. Can't eat for two hours. I haven't eaten all day. Dang it. I love those import stores. There's a product for everything in your life in there. Food from travel, home, accessories, there's food in there, all sorts of cool stuff to check out. Tell me a store you can find squirt guns and fishing reels all in the same place. The store has everything and it's all weird, random, wacky, and wonderful. I love it. On the agenda is bathroom accessories. It's kind of busy here today. You clean your toilet and your shower, but what about those other items in your bathroom, like your hairbrush? Here's how to clean brushes and combs. Oh, I'm right here, all the brushes. I'm gonna have to find a friend with long hair to get these brushes dirty or just clean their brushes. Over time, those brushes build up residue from shampoo and hair products. Let's get that cleaned up. Step one, use a comb to get rid of any loose hair. I borrowed a brush from a friend and I'm so glad I get to clean this up. <laughs> Look at this. For most brushes, all you're gonna need is shampoo. And it's good if the shampoo is sulfate free. So even though I don't have very much hair, I am on a hair care mission, trying to find a sulfate free. Oh, this looks like a good one. It's a little overwhelming how many shampoo brands there are. What's this? That's a mousse conditioner shampoo. Restore. So many brands. Oh, sulfate cleansing cream. Hmm. A clarifying shampoo is gonna be great too because it'll break down dirt and oil. You can do this in your sink with some warm water or just in a large container. You don't need much, you just wanna build up a good foam. Get that mixed in there and the hairbrush goes right in. Submerge. After about 15 minutes, you'll wanna give it a good scrub, rinse, and let it air dry. This soaking method is perfect for any plastic hairbrush. Avoid soaking those wooden brushes so the process is a little more manual. This is where this place shines is cleaning supplies, like cleaning for everything. Like this brush to get in between hard to reach places. Bottle brushes of every shape and size. Bottle washing sponge would stand. Okay, so this has a stand. So I always talk about using a cleaning toothbrush. This is a cleaning toothbrush. I'm gonna pick these up. These are so cool. Oh my gosh. They have a whole section of cleaning toothbrushes. So usually I use an old toothbrush to clean things around the house, but these are specifically cleaning toothbrushes. You can gently dip the bristles and with a small brush, just get between all those fibers. And it helps to do this upside down to prevent splashing. Lots of floaties in there, gross. Give it a good rinse. For those combs, we're gonna make a vinegar solution. Of course, vinegar. You'll dilute that vinegar with about four parts of water to one part of vinegar. You want enough water to cover the combs. 
And of course, Barbicide is a go-to from those hair professionals. After about 10 minutes, you can give these a rinse. And alcohol could be a great go-to to just give those handles a good clean. Once those bristles are clean, you can give everything else a quick rub down. And it's best not to share hair tools unless they're clean properly before and after uses. We got all the combs here, but where's Diddy? Now we can keep it clean and stylish. Like if you've never been to a, a Japanese store, go because there's so many unique things you didn't know you needed. This is genius. You put the window cleaner in here, in the handle. The pump is right there and then the squeegee is attached. So you spray, scrub, and squeegee off. This is genius. Cleaning slippers, yes. I think these are genius. What is this, a hedgehog dusting brush? Why wouldn't you want this cute little critter to clean your house? All these food containers. It's a bowl with a colander inside. Perfect for washing your berries. I love containers like this. Look at all this organization stuff. Oh my goodness, prices so cheap. There are a bunch of brushes in a bathroom for hair, teeth, and toilets. Let's disinfect that disgusting brush. It finally has happened. I do my weekly check at Bed Bath & Beyond. And today is the day that I finally found out it is permanently closed. Not even 70% off anymore. I was so excited to get a toilet brush from there. They've said their final goodbyes. Farewell, dear friend, you will be missed. Of course, we had to show up on Siren Day at Walmart. I feel like we're getting closer to the siren sound instead of further away from it. Where is this noise coming from? Oh, it's right there. These brushes do the gross job of keeping our bathroom clean. The best method to keep it clean, bleach. Give a good pour into your toilet bowl and just let that brush soak. To finish up, just give your toilet a flush, give it a quick rinse in that fresh water and let it air dry. That holder also needs to be soaked as well. Nope but not in the toilet. You can do this right in the bathtub using a bucket or a bin. Just submerge that holder. If you have brushes in multiple bathrooms, you can just do this all at once. And this gets a splash of bleach as well. You can let this sit and soak for about an hour. So I was looking for toilet brushes. They have a few toilet brushes down here, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. <sighs> yeah, kind of slim pickings on the toilet brush selection here. Maybe I'll just have to clean the one we have at home. There's really not been much innovation in the toilet brush world, has there? You can also do a spray method with your favorite disinfectant spray or a mixture of water and vinegar or even hydrogen peroxide. Just give that brush head a little spray after every use. Make sure to rotate it all around. This is great for a weekly clean. Now toilet brushes aren't meant to last forever, so be sure to replace yours if it's been in your bathroom for a long time. Give that holder a good rinse and let it air dry before putting the brush back in. So glad I ran into this because uh, I need new dish gloves. Disposable, maybe these? Non-slip grip, down for that. I thought these would be so great because they have the little like sponge on them and you just use your hands to clean. I've broken many a bowl using these because it's so slippery. So I haven't figured out how to use these gloves. I think they're a great invention. I just maybe don't have the right technique yet. Growing up, my job was to clean the bathroom and the liner was the worst part. Here's an easy method to clean a shower liner. Most shower liners, plastic, vinyl, and fabric can be cleaned in a washing machine. Looking for a new shower curtain. The traditional plasticky shower curtain everybody grew up with. I actually prefer the fabric ones because you can throw them in the washing machine. When I was a kid, I'd be in the tub scrubbing this plastic liner. And they have ones that are colors now, which is kind of nice. So this is perfect. Fabric liner. Many of those shower liners just have a care tag. Follow the instructions. Toss it in and you can use a regular laundry detergent. And I also like to add about a quarter cup of vinegar. If you're cleaning a plastic liner, add in a towel with it too. Adding that towel will keep the liner from bunching up and help clean it. Same deal here, just add your detergent and a splash of vinegar. Just a normal cycle and you should be good to go. And of course, you don't want to put that liner in the dryer, just hang it up and it'll dry. In between those washes, I like to spray that liner with a vinegar and water mixture. This is one part vinegar to four parts water and in between showers, it'll help fight mold and mildew. Clean shower, no scrubbing. It has been an eventful trip to Walmart. There was a siren when we first got here. The Walmart is large, so sometimes you have to ping pong back and forth between the stores to get what you need, but got some steps in. It's been a great trip. I met some nice people while I was here. That was great too.